All right, guys, so I am, I wish I had a way to hold this up. I'll hold it right here, that's perfect. So I am on my lunch break. Um, usually I eat like outside the lunch building, but today um, I decided, I was like, all right, a sister need to take a five. I need to take a five. So I got in my car. Um, I just drove like to a nearby little area um, that I'm familiar with. Um, and I'm like, I'm just gonna record this video. I tell myself I'm just gonna park and record this video because I need to get it off my chest. Um, so I just told myself that I'm gonna take a, t take a moment to record this video. And then after I do this video, my bad, I need to drink water, oh my gosh. I'm always on the go, so like sometimes I, be, I forget to drink water and that's really bad. So I try to drink it whenever I can. Mm, okay, let's try that again. So I told myself that I will uh, record this video. And then after, because I know after I record the video, I probably feel better. Um, so after that, then I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to go back to work. But sometimes you got to know when to take a five. Today has been a rough day for me. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm not wearing makeup or anything. But um, I have been kind of crying on and off um, today at work. So I told myself, I was like, all right, like, at lunch, I I need to take a five. I need to drive away and uh, take a take uh, a moment to regroup myself a little bit. So, if you guys don't know, yesterday my brother, congratulations, Miles, Team Twenty Twenty Two. There we go. Uh, he graduated last night, and I was really, 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 really happy and very excited for my brother because my brother has been through um a lot of ups and downs, and you know, like with the loss of our dad, he was right there. He was six years old, so he was right there when all all of it happened, and it happened to him. Um, at a very young age so to ha having to process that and go through life at a young age using losing your dad I can only imagine how he feels so um yesterday was a really great accomplishment he got a lot of love a lot of hugs a lot of kisses um um at the end of the video I'll post some videos uh, uh about his graduation um I might or I may do a separate separate video because this video my um I, I I guess I'll say like my mood. I'm I'm not in a bad mood, okay? But this video I don't want it to take away from his moment, so I may not even post pictures or videos or anything of his graduation. That's probably gonna uh be a separate video because I don't want to seem like I'm taking from him. But the main reason for this video is that yesterday my brother graduated and I got to sit there with my family and then uh my bro bro Mike, he came down from Vegas. So he was there and I was watching the graduation and I see my brother walking to get his diploma and everything. And then I kind of got sad. Okay. So I got sad because I got sad because it's like, I'm like, wow, like he did it. And I know my brother and I were very, very close for like this. So out of everything he's been through my mom, of course, and my, I'm a sister, we got a close relationship. I'm right there talking to him over FaceTime and different things like that. So I know. So this is a great moment of his life. And I just felt bad because I'm like, my dad, I know my dad loved him a lot. And my dad wouldn't want wanted to uh would have want would have would have wanted to be there for my brother. And it's crazy because as I'm recording the video, I'm starting to feel better. Um, so yeah, so my dad, you know, he wanted to be there. So I'm sitting there and I'm getting kind of teary-eyed. I'm like, all right, come on, like get it together and so i had told my husband i'm like man i'm getting a little like teary eye you know so anyway i'm trying like trying to get it together so anyway so um that kind of bothered me a little bit and i'm like all right like it's is is normal it's okay okay so then today right i'm at work and i go in the bathroom and i look at a picture that i posted on facebook of my brother and i and i was like i start crying in the bathroom so it's just that, um, it's just sad because I just feel like with my dad, I felt like he was, um, I felt like he was robbed. Okay. And I don't even know if I'm, if, that, if that's the right term or thing for me to say, but I just feel like he was robbed. And I feel like, like out of every, like out of everybody, he'll want to be there. So it just kind of bothered me because I kind of, I felt it. You know, I felt it. I was like, dang, like my dad will live for this. And, and he's not there. So I just felt real bad. 
and I felt bad for my brother too, but I just want to do this video because uh, losing somebody is the worst thing ever. And uh, I usually don't let myself be vulnerable like this. But I want people to know the struggle that I deal with every day. Not only with my dad, like with my uncle, um, with other losses that I have, right? Other losses. But nobody talks about the aftermath of losing somebody, right? You got, you got support. Um, you put it in perspective because you learn how to deal with it. Um, <clears throat> you, excuse me. As the years go, goes on, you learn how to deal with it. But nobody, nobody talks about no. Nobody talks about um nobody talks about how hard is it to process and deal with it every day. Most definitely most definitely in my dad's case. Most definitely um in my dad's case because it's so sad. Okay? It's so sad. And then <clears throat> when my dad passed away, I, I, I saw that. Okay? I saw that. Um and to have that image, right? To have that image and to have that image and to have everything and you lose somebody like that, it's a big impact, okay? It's a big impact. And people say, okay, like with time, like you'll get over it or I remember some people will like, uh, some people will be like, man, like your dad or like your family members, they died years ago and you're still not over it. Like, come on now. Come on, it does not it does not work like that. So with me, I'm always so strong and uh sometimes I'm a little bit guarded. I don't express my feelings or how I'm feeling about something. Like and I wanted to record this because I have days like this, right? But I, I'm not sad. Okay, I'm not sad, but I have to before when my dad um before when my dad first died, right? I didn't allow myself to cry. I didn't allow myself to process it. So I was just very angry. So now um, I have days like this. So I wanted to record myself like this because I have days like this, right? And then it's unfortunate that today is one of, one of, is the day. But you know what? I'm happy that it's happening now because yesterday it, it was all about my brother and I wanted that to be a great moment, you know? And I didn't want him to see me sad because I know if I'm sad, it's going to affect him. So I'm actually happy that it worked out the way it did. But today, you know, it's just one of those days when you lose somebody, uh, you learn how to deal with it. But the feeling and the way you feel, that's never going to go away. You just have to find ways and you have to uh, lean on God, which I always say, find ways to help you, find ways to help you deal with it. Okay. So today is 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 one of those days i'm ha i'm having i'm having a difficult time and then like sometimes um i do have a lot of people to talk to and support to su support me but this is the reality of it i want everybody to see i want everybody to know and um i have good days but i also have bad days so i recognize i felt it i'm like ah it's today's one of those days so i just took the time to regroup because sometimes you, that's that's what you have to do but it's just very hard when you lose somebody and it's like you're just you lose somebody you you bury them and it's like all right now i gotta go back to i gotta go back to life i gotta live my life like nothing's nothing has happened and that that's not that's not reality and you can't suppress it you know before i used to suppress it but now i'm allowing myself to process it and grieve and go through everything but i know um when losing a loved one you're never going to get over it and what my dad it's like i don't know if this bad is bad to say but um i try not to when i think about it i think about it and i cry when i think when i when i think about it and i go to the grave side and i see his grave and when i look at when I look at pictures, when I look at videos, when I see that, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. So that's why it's hard for me. It's hard. It's hard. So that's why I try my best to sit back on my right and I don't mention it. And I, oh, yeah, you know, my dad, you know, and, and I try to make it seem like I'm okay, but it's hard. It's so hard for me. But I force myself to go for it. I force myself to 
to, I force, I force myself to live. I look to God. I pray all the time. I pray all the time because it's a struggle. Without God, you're not going to be able to. Without God, you're not going to be able to do to get through through it. And I lean on God and I pray and I pray because it's so hard. And the only one that can help me through it is Him. And I'm sorry that I'm like this on video. And I don't even know, man, why I'm doing this, but it's like, it's like you gotta go through life like nothing happened. And you and you go through life and you feel this emptiness that you can't feel. And, and even if you're like, even if you're like, even if you're like, um, accomplishing everything. Like my life is great right now. My life is great right now. I'm doing everything. I'm, I'm accomplishing everything. Um, uh, everything's very positive. Everything that I said I'm going to do, I'm doing. Um, uh, but it's like that void, that past life, you can't, you can't shake it. You can't shake it. And I, and I hate feeling like this and I hate it. I can't stand it. When am I going to feel like I'm, I just feel like I'm just, it's surreal. It don't seem real. I just tell myself, you're going to wake up. You're going to wake up. You're going to see that person again. You're going to see your loved ones again. You're going to see them again. And it's just like, it's crazy because sometimes I look at myself and I don't even know who I am because I'm like, when my dad died, when my uncle died, when I lost a lot of people that made a lot to me, I feel like I lost myself and it took me a minute to get back to who I am. Like people don't know. Um, when I was younger, I used to sing everywhere, right? And my uncle was my number one person that encouraged me. And every time my son came, he was like, man, you cold. Like, you're going to be the greatest star. You're going to be the greatest superstar ever. You're going you're gonna to do it. And then once I lost him, I stopped singing. So people, I was like, all right, what happened? Because when I lost him, I didn't have, no, I didn't have that person. I didn't want to sing no more. So my thing is is that when you lose people it impacts you in different ways and people don't understand that but you got to recognize it and you got to push past it and now i'm noticing that me losing certain people that are very important in my life not just my dad my uncle friends um when you lose different people in your life it has an impact and i remember when i lost my dad when i lost my Uncle, I stopped singing. I stopped doing all types of stuff. With sports, I always been so talented and very athletic. I think I couldn't even do sports. I couldn't even. I couldn't even focus. And I felt like everything I was going through it kind of altered my life because I was just. If you want to do something, if you if your if your mind if your mind's not in it, you're not gonna be able to really focus. So now that I'm older, I'm able to. Now that I'm older, I'm able to process it. And then I'm able to recognize it and now I'm able to push past it. So now I'm singing again. I'm singing again. Um I'm singing again. Um y'all know I don't box anymore, so I don't box, but I'm singing again. I'm getting my hands in everything. Um I'm doing everything that I can. I'm starting to get that back because I'm recognizing, you know, I'm recognizing the trauma and how it has a big effect on my life and how I let it stop me from a lot of things because I was so depressed, because I was having a hard time. And now I'm recognizing that and now I'm really pushing toward to God's plan and to God's purpose. And I don't know what it is, but I've been talking to God. I've been um I've been talking to God. I've been communicating with God and I've been asking God and I've been asking him for strength and I've been asking him to help me uh, step into my purpose. And I've been asking him to help me get over tough times. And each time I pray that prayer, um, each time I pray that prayer, I don't know what it is. Something is shifting inside of me and I'm starting to listen to God and step in and in and, and, and things that I've always wanted to do. It's opening up. So, whew. I feel better that I now that I got it off my chest. And I'm probably going to debate if I want to post this, but I'm going to post it anyway because it's not about me. It's about other people. Um, so I kind of lost my train of thought. But um, back to God, I've been talking to God. And now that I'm recognizing like the impact of losing somebody, how it has on my life, I'm getting back, uh, back on track. It took me years later. But it's never too late. And I tell myself that all the time. My, I'm like, like you could have been, I used to tell myself, you could have been the greatest singer. You could have been the greatest track athlete. Could have been all that. But now I'm not upset at myself because I, I had a lot of the stuff that I was dealing with. And now it's not too late. I'm working at it. I'm working hard. 
and I'm going to keep pushing forward. Even if I make it when I'm 50, it's not too late. I'm getting my life on track. I'm understanding everything. And with God, um, I'm able to do it. The reason why I post this video, because um, I want to touch people that have lost somebody that's really dearest to them. I just want you to know that you're not the only one that's going through this. I still struggle with it every day. Bro, so who, who's back? I prayed. Um, I feel better. Like, YouTube is like, it's therapy, man. So after I made that video, I ate my little bomb salad and my little snacks. And then I went back into work. And um, I had fun. Um, we did some activities at work today. Got to get uh, out of the building. Um, just... I feel a little bit better, you know? I, I don't feel all the way back better yet, but I feel like after I work out and get some sleep and get some food, um, I probably feel much better, but um, I appreciate y'all for letting me, you know, put that video out. Well, not, I won't say put the video out, but um, watching the video, um, my big mom, Michelle, always said, she's like, that YouTube thing, you good at that. And then she was like, you just have to get that stuff off your chest and, YouTube is therapy, you know, you, not only um, are you helping others, but you're helping yourself as well. So, and she was 100 and she was telling the truth about that. So I love you guys. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that sometimes you have days like that, you know, when traumatizing things happen. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, you just gotta take it day by day. You know what I mean? And that's, I feel better. God is good. God is great all the time. I just wanted to check back and let y'all know that like I snapped back like I said and took some time out, had my moment, and now I'm back to being my show happy and loving life. So I love you guys. Um sending blessings and prayers as always. Um I'm gonna go in here and spend time with my family and everything. So I love you guys.